Welcome back. So we already have prepared our profit and loss statement and these key values, but we have a limitation and that limitation is my system still does not recognize what is the value of my sales, what is the value of my gross profit, if the operating profit, PBIT net profit or any of these values. Well, you must be thinking we already have calculated these values, how my system still don't know about that. Well, the point is we have calculated these values using the page level filters and even though these values are displayed here if i just search here in my values you can see system cannot find any value for sales neither it can find any value for the gross profit so since we do not have those values that system can recognize i cannot use them in any calculation so for example if i have to calculate gross profit margin i will need to divide gross profit with sales but how do i tell system about gross profit how do i tell system about sales system does not recognize that at all so we will have to define these values using the formula language of w and we are going to do that in this section so we are going to begin by working with by calculating the value of sales and then one by one we will calculate all of these values don't worry about formula language one formula will be doing the most of our work so let us start by calculating the sales value and for that first of all i will have to navigate to any sheet and once you are in the sheet you will click on this analysis tab and click on create calculated field now the first value that i'm going to define i will name it here on the top so i'm going to define sales and we will start this uh, this formula by start typing the function that we want to so we will say sum and once you type the sum you will and press enter once you know this option is highlighted or you will press the tab key on your keyboard and now you can see that this function has opened and now you will be entering the next argument now what we have to sum we will have to sum the amount from the gl so i'll select amount and again press enter and now you can see what we are telling the system is that please sum the amount from gl column and before you move forward you will see that if this calculation is valid and you will click ok now if you will click ok system will give you the value of all the gl values summed up of course that is not going to be the sales so we will have to use the if condition that please only use sum of amount where now how would we would write that in this uh, tableau formula language i will say sum function opens and then i will write an if function and now i will say sum if and then we will have to define that where we should be using the sum and to define that logic i will take you to the microsoft excel where i have my chart of accounts and in the excel you can see that i would say we are subclass equals sales if i use the subclass equals sales i will be getting my net value of sales that will be including sales as well as sales return so the logic is sum if subclass equals sale let us go back to tableau and let us continue here sum if subclass I will just write sub and system has given me wherever sub is mentioned in my data so i will select subclass and i will say equals close the open the inverted commas write the sales as it is mentioned in your data so i will say sum f subclass equals sales then then what should be summed up now we will be talking about that particular column that contains the values which should be summed up and you know that column is named as amount so i will just write amount and system has given me the amount now since you know we have defined that we are subclass equals sales then and uh, then you know uh, sum all the amount of course this sum has been applied outside the function so it will automatically be applied on the amount column here but we will have to tell the system that if subclass is not equal to sale then what the system should be doing so i will have to complete my formula and it says sum if subclass equals sales then amount i will write else zero which means that you know otherwise it simply answer me nothing and finally be before closing this function i will have to write end end that is the standard style of ending the tableau statement so let us close the bracket and let us wait for this uh, uh, notification that if this formula is valid or not 
we will of course check this every time so let us conclude what we have done what i have suggested w is sum of amount if subclass is equal to sales if the condition is not met then answer me zero and end the statement and let us press ok and now you can see that the sales has been defined in my system and whenever i like i can call this for my uh, any of the function any of the formula that i want to calculate so at the beginning of this lecture i was telling you that system does not know what is the value of my sales but now system knows that and whenever i want to recall that i can do it so finally before closing down i will just extract this value of sales uh, to this rows column and i will see that what is the value that is appearing here so this is 17 million let me show you that in yearly so that we can compare quickly with the values in our profit and losses statement so you can see this is 3.5 million 3.575428 in my p and l it was 3694 okay we will have to net off these two values so for a moment what i'm going to do is i am going to remove this account level from here so that we can see the values at this level and we can just compare so i will undo it once i check my values so now you can see i have 3.75428 that is the value appearing here then we have 56978445 five six nine seven eight four five and then we have seven eight three five three six nine seven eight three five three six nine so you can see that i have quickly validated my values as well for my sales and the calculation is right now before i move forward i will just undo the thing that we have done here so that i can get back my account level as well let us undo and we have our p and l back so you can see we have just calculated the value of our sales now after that let us calculate the gross profit as well but let us do it in the next lecture and if any of this calculation part is not clear don't worry we are going to repeat this step multiple times now in a row we will calculate the gross profit and the net profit and all of other values as well using the same formula so this will be repeated multiple times let us move to the next step